Hello viewers, welcome back to my technology channel on YouTube GTech. The purpose of this video is to check the compatibility of Canon BP827 battery with Canon XA40 video camera which is widely used by uh, video loggers all across the globe. We'll also look into uh, other compatible batteries with this camera and we'll also look into how we can enhance the recording time when we are in field and when we don't have access to wall plug. So let's start. Let us first look into the compatible batteries that Canon recommends for this camera. The stock battery that comes with this camera has the model number BP820. So by my experience, it has a recording time of about one and a half hours when you uh, record at 4K. So probably if you record at 1K, you might slightly be able to increase the recording time. So if you want to increase the recording time more, there is one more uh, model that Canon recommends. So it has a model number. It has the model number BP828. So with that battery probably you can increase the recording time to about four to four and a half hours. So that's what my friends who have been using that particular uh, battery um, have been telling. So uh, these are the two batteries that work flawlessly with this camera and it is also recommended by Canon. The next point is a highly interesting and important point with respect to this camera because it is widely and commonly being discussed among uh, various forums uh, and actually say social media platforms uh, with respect to this camera. It's about a uh, it's about compatibility of a battery model battery model Canon BP827 with uh, cameras such as X11, X820, 30, 40, 45, etc. So uh, uh, this uh, I have uh, uh, this particular battery here. It's Canon BP827. So it has the same form factor as uh, say BP828, and it also has the same voltage rating as uh, BP828. But uh, um, let's see, like whether it is compatible with XA40 or not, with a small demonstration. So now I'm fixing this battery to the camera so this is XA40 so this is BP827 so I will carefully insert it so it got inserted so now let's switch on the camera and see like what message it, what, what happens so it gives a not compatible message and it switches off so you check it again. So it's switching off. So uh, uh, it works. It, it 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 doesn't work. So it happens exactly like how or what Canon says. Like it says incompatible battery, and it is switching off. So now let's see if we can uh, uh, do some hack and uh, make this particular battery work. The hack that worked out for me is fairly simple and it is something like this. So this is the, cam this is the Canon BP827 battery and now if you take a closer look it has four pens plus D, T and minus. The plus and minus terminals supply power to the camera. So now there is this D pin. Probably this D pin is for data communication. So most likely this battery bank or say battery pack has a microcontroller and the camera circuitry communicates with this microcontroller through this D pin. Uh, to know the health of the battery, to know about the charge status, etc. So now what I did was I cut off this communication. That is the communication between the data communication between the camera and the battery. That is I carefully disconnected the D terminal. I used a tweezer such as this and carefully cut off the pin so it's a little bit tricky but you need to do it carefully so be careful not to shard 
any other pins it might result in fire or it might result in something bad so that's what i did and after cutting off after taking off this pin so then i connected the battery to the camera so now i'm reinserting the battery it is bp827 after uh, what do you call removing the d pin okay so i inserted it properly so now i will switch on the camera so as you can see it's perfectly working so it's no longer switching off automatically by what you call displaying a message okay so but there is a drawback so you need to know about that if you do this anyways the battery will now work but the only thing is it will not show the battery level it will not show the battery level so if you are okay with that you can make this battery work with this camera most likely uh, this battery will also work with other models such as x11 20 30 40 45 so all those similar models so that's it very simple so i think this should be the answer to all those people who want to uh, somehow use this battery with this camera but be careful this is just an educational video like if you want to do it's your risk so you are you will be taking uh, you need, if you want to take you can take the risk preferably go with the canon recommended batteries so still there will be some mad people like me who want to try it out and maybe who want to use it also the fundamental reason or the basic reason why i modified this and why i am using this is the recommended battery that is 828 it costs around 20 24000 uh, maybe 350 dollars compared to this original 8 to 7 battery which cost me around 200 rupees oh sorry uh, 2000 rupees it's around 25 dollars so where is 25 dollars where is 350 dollars so that forced me to uh, uh, i could not afford so it forced me to modify this battery anyway it's working flawlessly and uh, uh you can uh, i i don't think uh, uh, there is uh, any reason why uh, we can't use it one last point uh after modification uh, i i um, uh, it's better not to charge the battery through the camera so for which actually i have a separate external charger so i use that charger to charge this so uh, because that charger doesn't need any data communication in order to know the status of the battery it automatically cuts off when the battery voltage reaches a certain level so it's much safer so that's about uh, uh, how we can make 8 to 7 bp 8 to 7 work with xa40 now the last interesting point sometimes we may need to cover events which are uh, very long so maybe 6 hours or 8 hours or even 10 hours and uh, to do that we may need to carry multiple batteries so uh, even with multiple batteries like if uh, you want to change those batteries in between so you might uh, lose some very important uh, what do you call important section of the program so in order to avoid such a thing what i have done is i have developed a battery bank okay 
so this battery bank supplies about uh, 12 volts so uh, because I have a few other battery few other cameras which need uh, 12 volts even my live webcasting equipment uh, requires 12 volts so now from the 12 volts output that it gives I have uh, uh, I, I also have a module that uh, steps down the voltage to uh, the required 8.4 8.4 volts that the camera requires and now I connect the output of this module to the camera okay and then when I switch on you can observe here it's showing 8.38 8.4 volts and now on the camera if you check it, it is in the charge state okay so now if you switch on the camera so from the charge state actually it shifted over to uh, the uh, the voltage that you are supplying and then it starts working flawlessly okay so i have almost tested it for about uh, six six and a half hours when i was uh, uh, covering a sports event for a school uh, where my daughter was also participating in some events and uh, without any issues I was able to cover uh, the complete the complete program anyways I did not uh, uh, record because I was directly webcasting it on uh, YouTube so that's about it so I hope uh, this video is very interesting and it uh, also gives a it's also a curtain call for all those discussions with respect to compatibility of uh, A27 with uh, XA40, XA11 whatever all those compat all those uh, similar cameras so I hope uh, uh, I, I will also share some what you call uh, important links if there are any with this uh, you, even uh, uh, you can develop uh, a battery bank such as this by yourself so i have made a video on that also so i will also share that link uh, so please uh, look into it if anybody needs help regarding that uh, they can contact me so i can also like if someone requires i can also build one uh, uh, build such a uh, battery bank for them so that's it thank you good luck enjoy your life